Hey guys, so today I'm going to film, well I filmed part of that already, um, it is my morning slash night kind of routine, um, I also did my everyday eye makeup look which is with the Naked Basics palette, um, so I'm just gonna walk you through what I filmed so far and then later on we'll get into my routine before I go to bed. Sometimes I shower at night, sometimes I shower in the morning, but this morning I showered in the morning um so i just take this detangler kind of spray and spray it all through my hair take my wet brush and brush it all through um i'm gonna link all the products down below if i don't name them don't worry i will have all the product information in the description box um so then i use this other thing that helps your hair grow these are both by Kerastas. um i kind of use this little dropper and i just spread it through my hair on my scalp I guess and I just kind of massage it into my scalp it's supposed to help your hair grow and then I put this little drop of it on my eyebrows because I have this weird thing about wanting my eyebrows to be thicker I don't know it's just this weird thing I'm going through right now um, and then I take a comb and part my hair so it doesn't dry weird I guess and then just kind of comb it out again because my hair tends to get pretty tangly and then I take some mousse, and I, this is also by Kerastas, and I spread that through my hair. And then I take a sea salt spray and um, kind of spray through my hair, and just like I put the mousse in, just massage it through. That's just because, I, like I said, I wasn't going to do my hair, and that's all I do with it, really, when I make it go natural, I guess. Um, and then I clip my hair back for when I do my makeup and I take a Burt's Bees moisturizer which I love and just moisturize my face and um, I also use a Carmex lip balm I guess before I do my makeup because I really feel like it's such a good moisturizer for your lips so then this is my everyday look um, I already put my face makeup on and now I'm going to put on the Urban Decay original um, primer potion which isn't honestly isn't the greatest but I use it now because I have a lot of it so um yeah I, I don't know I want a better one I guess this is the palette that I use because you can't really see it when I film it um when I'm putting it on but the first color I use is the WOS that part got cut out and then those are what I'm pointing at <laughs> for the rest of the video I use kind of a bigger fluffy brush to just put that on and set my primer then I go in with a fluffy brush with the lightest brown color and I just kind of swirl that into my crease to create a base for what I'm planning on doing later which is kind of a darker natural smoky eye. Then I go in with a darker brown um, and a f angled fluffy brush. I should probably say the names of these colors but um, I don't really have a palette out with me. I put that in my crease even more and kind of just build it up um, slowly but surely because you know that's how you should <laughs> that's how you should do eye makeup I wish I told myself that in high school then I take a small little brush like a fluffy brush and take the black color that one's called crave I have the naked palette in front of me now um, and I take that and put it in my crease on both eyes and then um, kind of just fluff it back out with the darker brown which is called faint um then I talked to my roommate about something <laughs> and um I kind of just do this because I feel like it makes the black a little less harsh and then I blend out the edges with like a cleaner brush and then I take a I don't know what this is called it's just like a flat brush and I use that to put um foxy on my lid and then I fluff that out with a, another clean blending brush. And then I go ahead and take a smaller brush and I take the color Faint again and I put that under my lower lash line. And I kind of do it for the length of my bottom lashes without mascara on. Sometimes I even do it a little bit lower than that depending on how dramatic I'm kind of going. Um, and then I go ahead and take a smaller smudge brush and use the black crave color and line my bottom lashes with that. Then I take kind of a pointed a highlight looking brush and use the shade Foxy again, that's what I used on my lid, and I put that under my brow bone, 
and then I take just a little tiny round brush and use the shade Venus to highlight the inner corners of my eyes. Um, and sometimes I put that near my brow bone, but it depends. Then I put the rest of my makeup on, mascara and whatnot, and that's pretty much it. I let my hair kind of air dry, and I will check back with you guys when I take my makeup off at night. Yay! So now I put my hair up and it's nighttime and I take a little cotton thingy and a makeup eye makeup remover and take off my eye makeup. And then I take these face wipes that I really like by Pons and take the rest of my makeup off and I cut them in half usually because I don't need a full one. take another cotton thingy and uh, this is stuff called sea breeze I don't really know what it does or what it is but it makes my face feel clean so I use it then I take coconut oil and put that on my entire face which makes it kind of feel weird but I get used to it and I'm going to bed anyways so it's not that bad then I use lash therapy by Mirabella after <laughs> coconut oil which is hard to open and I put that on my lashes and it makes them feel a lot better I can definitely see a difference and then I go to bed so I hope you guys like this video um I hope you guys got something out of it or learned something about I don't know <laughs> my routine I guess I don't know a lot of people like to talk about what they do for their skin and their hair and that's what I do and so if anyone was curious, I guess, but um, I hope you guys like this video. Stay tuned for my video next Sunday um, and my poem that I will be posting, of course, on Monday. And hopefully I will get to do two videos for you guys next week. Um, cross my fingers that I won't be too busy. Sorry if you can hear all the noises of East Lansing um, behind me. I have two windows in my room, so it's kind of hard to avoid. But I hope you guys enjoy this and thank you all for watching, of course. Comment if you have any that you are dying to know or want to see and I'll see you guys next Sunday.